Hi, my name is Lucha, and I'm just a runaway slave in which I've escaped from my master. She was captured and used as a slave, and she tried to escape. It's November 20, 1732. It has been seven to eight days since I ran away. I am a mulatto servant named Sarah, and I'm 24 years old. But all of the torture and misery, I ran away. We start by sharing the ads of the runaway slaves that were taken from various newspapers of the past. And we ask students to make choices and think deeply about what it is they're reading and how it's impacting them. Because learning begins, I think, with connection. The slave owner put an ad out to catch the slave. They will explain to you how the person looks. They maybe will explain the height and the marks on their body. We got to know their lives through art and we got to express our feelings. His name is Adania. Uh, this is Nell. Her name is Sarah. The slave master tortured him a lot. Kidnapped or kind of captured from his fa family. They weren't even considered as humans. They were considered as property. I could visualize it, but I can't really tell because I wasn't in their shoes. First, you're angry. Then you're sad. I didn't know how bad it was, I guess, in the North. It's something you don't want, you don't want to imagine. It's just because of their skin color, they were mistreated. Like, why would you treat someone so horribly? Why would you beat them up? Why would you abuse them verbally and physically? It's not fair. I feel thankful for this because if I have never done this project, I wouldn't really know how other people were back then, how they felt back then, their journey. Majority of people don't actually take the time to understand what these people have gone through. It has been seven to eight days since I was asleep and she tried to escape and she As a being a slave, I've experienced how hell was like, and let's just say that no matter if I risk my life, I'm never coming back. American slavery is part of our society. A part of our identities as Americans. We need to figure out a way to talk about that.